Platte River is a Missouri River tributary that travels 310 miles after its two main tributaries, the North Platte River and the South Platte River, which connect to make the Platte River and North Platte, Nebraska. Individually, the South Platte River is 439 miles long, starting in Park County, Colorado. The North Platte River, on the other hand, is 716 miles long and begins in Jackson County. Once the two rivers combine to form the Platte River, the river flows east through Nebraska before finally reaching the end of its journey south of Omaha, where it meets the Missouri River in the Platte, Nebraska. The first to inhabit the lands along the Platte River were the Native Americans, of course, with Europeans first discovering the Platte River in 1714, when a Frenchman by the name of Etienne de Vignade came upon the river, naming it Nebraska, after the Oto word for Flat River. Later on, though, the river was renamed to the French word for flat water, being Platte. During the 1700s, the Platte River was in a gray area that existed between claims made by the French and Spanish in the Great Plains region. Eventually, the French gained complete control over the Platte River, although the territory that it belonged to was eventually sold in the Louisiana Purchase. In 1820, Major Stephen Long encountered the Platte River on an expedition to explore the Great Plains, leading to the mapping of the river that same year. During the Oregon Trail and Mormon Trail during the 1860s, many pioneers and settlers traveled along the Platte River on their way out west, eventually giving way for the Union Pacific Railroad to build the Transcontinental Railroad near the Platte River and the North Platte. Even later, the valley surrounding the Platte River was used for the Lincoln Highway and eventually Interstate 80, but we'll talk more about that parallel later. These trails of pioneers along the Platte River also laid the foundation of larger towns in Nebraska, such as Omaha, Lincoln, and Kearney, just to name a few. Starting just south of Grand Island, Nebraska in the east, U.S. Interstate 80 seems to parallel the Platte River before reaching the point where the South and North Platte Rivers combine into the Platte River. At that point, Interstate 80 follows the South Platte River until it meets up with Interstate 76, where Interstate 80 crosses the South Platte River and goes west. Interstate 76 replaces Interstate 80 as it parallels the South Platte River not as closely until it finally reaches Fort Morgan, Colorado. After going northwest of Fort Morgan, the South Platte River makes an upside-down U-shape as it turns back south, going straight through the middle of Colorado's capital city of Denver, along with its suburbs and surrounding cities in the Denver metropolitan area. The Platte River travels through the cities of North Platte, Kearney, Grand Island, Fremont, and Omaha all of which are in Nebraska. The North Platte River, on the other hand, travels through Walden, Colorado, Casper, Wyoming, then Scotts Bluff, Oshkosh, and again, North Platte, Nebraska. The South Platte travels through Denver, Piedmont, Greeley, and Fort Morgan, Colorado, and then flows through Sterling and North Platte, both of Nebraska.